and just trying to blend uh, my foundation in because I need to start filming it. I think it's dark. Is it or is it not? Is, is it dark? Is it okay? <laughs> Welcome back uh, to my channel right here. Uh, we've gotten all caught up. Um, it's been a long, I think it's been a long start of uh, the week. And I've got some packages in the mail that have arrived. I have been waiting for this two weeks now. So I thought, what video can we do today? But try this out. So I don't have new foundation. <laughs> Here's I have foundation and brow gone because I really don't need. I I don't really think that I need to buy new foundation. My mom will kill me <laughs> if I bought a new foundation. But I have no concealer on and no everything. So I guess we'll start with the first one that uh, you've seen in my last video that I said I haven't tried out yet. Um, the country's uh, liquid camouflage concealer and um, I have been hearing a lot of buzz about this. This has been out for a long time but I suggest that I have been out uh, and I can't try anything else uh, besides my fit me one so I decided that maybe we'll try the liquid camouflage by Catrice so let's zoom into my face so that you can see everything that I have here you can see a lot I have a lot of breakouts right now that I don't know where I'm getting them from but this thing right here on my face is a dry uh, patch but I don't know if um, everything is picking out on the camera I hope not because I feel so so ugly right now but I have my mirror right here with me so that I can see a little bit better but yeah I can see, see my area right here but I'm gonna crack open on this uh, bad boy. This is the liquid camouflage with a tree. So this is first impressions. Hopefully I get impressed because a lot of YouTubers have a buzz around it. This that this is so good. Whoa! What's that? It feels like it feels like there's something on there. That is that water? It's not supposed to be the wand, but we'll just do this on our face. Um, I really don't know what to expect. I just know that there's a lot of people and that likes this concealer. Just putting that on the smells like skincare for some reason, I don't know. I'm just putting this on the highlight points of my face. Close this up. Something can change my eye. And then get my trusty beauty blender and blend this all out. So I think it's all uh, blended on my face. <laughs> I'm getting out of focus for some reason. Um, I think th this blended quite well, although my bad because this dries up really quick and the Fit Me does not do that even though I do that on uh, both of my face. It does not do that. But this dries out really quick, so I suggest you put one on and then you blend it, and then put another one on and then blend it because it dries so quickly. 
that I don't have some time to blend the other one but yeah um, first impression I think it looks good I don't think it's too drying for my under eye since my skin is about uh, is a bit crazy right now it's, um, I'm having combo skin it's oily but then I have dry patches which is crazy so I think this looks rather nice so we'll go and powder this up before it creases so let's see what we have in here let's oh uh, this yeah I have the fit me um uh, oh thank you phone I have uh, the loose finishing powder powder from uh, the Fit Me line. We don't have it here in the Philippines. Um, I haven't seen it in drugstores so I don't think we have this here but I have the number five, five? <laughs> number five uh, fair. Okay so I think, just see in here, there is a tape in here that I can push up but this is supposed to uh, great for baking under your eyes and I know a lot of youtubers uh, like this see I can peel off the plastic on top oh shoot okay so someone called on the phone and I needed to answer it so but yeah I took off uh, the plastic on top and yeah I have the powder uh, right here we'll see if this is my color or not it feels like it's not and we'll just put the powder in the cap okay so I have my uh, beauty blender right here let's get the powder uh, loaded up and put it under our eyes and let's see if this creases or not but a lot of um this is really fine like this is much finer than uh the new illusion one that i'm using from catrice like this is much much finer than that that's a good one um, but I really don't like it for uh, baking your face it's just it's a good overall setting powder but I don't think you can um, really what do you call this use that for uh, baking so let me just shellac this all on my face and we'll do um I still have a lot that is left on the cap but I have a lot that is left in the cap but I'm just gonna get them back from the packaging and I really don't know how I can close this maybe twist it oh yeah it closes like that but We'll see if this will crease or not. Hopefully not because um, a lot of YouTubers love that uh, powder in there. So let's uh, blush and bronzer um, our face. I'm just going to bronzer my face first before this bake bakes and we kick this off and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have uh, used the Catrice Sun Glow because you know I always use that uh, for bronzer but uh, let's kick this off, uh, let's kick the bake off so that we can see uh, what it did <laughs> underneath our eyes since we need to help, I don't need to, I mean we want a um, great 
canvas for our face. See if that looks amazing, but I think it does look amazing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this looks good. I mean, when I use uh, the nude dilution for baking, I can see definitely some lines in here. But that really stuck on my face. Like, I couldn't even see a line in here that I can't. I can't blend out for some reason. Like I can see it in the camera. Like I can also have, I also have a line in here, which is weird. But I think I like this so far. Uh, there is no creasing. That is the main concern. But there is no creases, and that's amazing so now that um, we are done we're just gonna put on some blush because I feel um, like I needed some rose up cheeks so we're just gonna get uh, the essence we are amazing and then just blush up our cheeks and I specifically choose this blush today because I know that we're gonna be using some rose tones today so that will complement our look very well but then let's see let's see the next stuff up in here because we're just gonna need some highlight and here we are I have the essence pure nude Highlighter. I know this product has been stopped by Essence, which I don't know why would you would stop it. I mean, this is a favorite of Kat Lee's for all over her uh, face because that is a very pretty um, highlight. But I'm not. I haven't tried this for myself, so we'll see. If this is really an amazing highlight or not, but I'm just gonna get my brush and load it up in there and just put it up on our cheeks. That is, that is a subtle glow uh, right there. Not. I am having a lot of cuts in this video because my camera for some reason is playing with me like I don't know why but that is a really uh, subtle uh, glow I like that I mean you really can use this all over your face and it wouldn't be a problem I mean I like that Ooh, that is an amazing glow right there I just want to put it all over my face I mean, I know, I know I'm gonna love this highlight. Like, the color is really stunning. Like, I haven't... Why would you discontinue this essence? I mean, this is an amazing kind of uh, highlight there. I mean, why? Why discontinue it? It's pretty. So now we'll go to our eyes, but so far I love this product right here. I, again, on the goodie bag, um, semi-shadow palette that I have been dying to try out. This, this is the Beauty Creations Irresistible Palette. Um, I, uh, it has said that this is a dupe for the ABH Modern Renaissance palette. I have seen some swatches and I, they said that it doesn't really uh, it doesn't really fit the pigmentation, but the colors and uh, the way that they work is the same. And I really don't have the ABH. Uh, modern Renaissance palette is it's expensive, uh, but I'm planning to buy that soon, but not now. So I think I'll stick with this. But let's see the packaging. Here it is. 
Um, we have my nails, it's green. <laughs> Truly pops through the pink. But here it is, and here are uh, the colors. Oops, the plastic fell off. But here are uh, the colors, which is if you see this side by side with uh, the ABH uh, Modern Renaissance palette, I think it's, um, it's fairly the same. I don't know, but we'll see about that, and we'll see how this works. And this has a mirror, which that is what I love about this. I mean, I love a palette with a mirror. So I think we need to swatch everything on uh, my fingers right here. So we'll start with naked here. That's a bad swatch. Um, let's. Next, go to uh, Touch Me, which is just this tan shade. Um, it's just a skin tone tan shade. And then we'll go to True Love. The feel of this uh, shadows is really powdery. So I think they are going to have a lot of kick up. But that is True Love right there. And let's go to only yours, which not I think not that pigmented. We'll see on the eyes. We can't really do our uh, rely on swatches, and we have till midnight, which oh, that's that's not bad. I mean, this palette is way 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 more uh, inexpensive than ABH. Uh, but if it's affordable, aff affordable, affordable, then get this. But we'll get uh, the Kiss Me, which is a berry shade, which is also, I guess, really pretty. And then we have yours shade, which is a brown that you need in a palette. And then we have. Uh, there, which is a I don't a brown which has a more well I know they have a lot of skin back and let's go with infatuated which is much more uh, less colorful than the other one and we have love letter in here which is that color right here. It's a shimmer. We have Tender Kiss in this side. I think we need to go here. That is Tender Kiss. And then we have Smack. We'll go here. Smack. And we have Warm Touch. Which is a brown again. We'll do that. If you hear some laughing, that's my sister's. I can't look at that. It's so powdery. Uh, we have mixed emotions right there. <laughs> this is really hard to swatch. Um, and we have uh, the last uh, shimmery shade, which is Night Out. So. I have all the colors in here in my hands. I'm just gonna try this into our eyes. I also bought because I want to. I want some more crisp, 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 crisp brushes. I also bought uh, the Wet and Wild a uh, large crease brush, so we can use this and try out this uh, shadows. But I think. It's really, really pretty, and I think it's really soft on my other crisp brushes. And it has this kind of handle right here, but we'll use this on our eyes today, so we'll see. And I have some of my other uh, brushes in here. Okay, so I'm gonna think of what eye look I'm gonna do in this video, and then I'll explain it when I'm done. So I'll get back to you guys.
Okay, so I have done both of uh, my eyes and I just did bear on my crease and then yours on my inner crease and then kiss me on uh, my outer and inner V as well as my lower lash line and I did only yours on uh, the middle uh, of my eyes and true love on top of it um, and then love letter on uh, my inner corners uh, this is it. I don't think I'm going to reach for this palette. I don't mind a palette being chalky and when a palette has a lot of fallout as long as it blends. I think this blends but you kind of need to blend it really uh, well and really carefully otherwise it kind of really did not blend that well. And I don't think the pigmentation is really there to begin with. I think for the price of this palette, uh, I mean 600 and stuff uh, like that, I think I did a good job. But I don't think the intensity of the colors is there. I mean, you can see on my eyes that it's not <laughs> I think it's not it's not that pigmented but I think for the price I mean you can work it out but I have a lot of uh, palettes that I think I would reach more than this and this is not bad this is really um, a sturdy uh, palette and it works it's just that you need a lot of work to get into this uh, stage so yeah that my that is my thoughts on this one but I pulled a rosy eye for some reason and I my camera is dying a bunch of lipstick from NYX which is this is just uh, because it's National Lipstick Day I ordered three of um, the next uh, soft matte lip creams in Morocco, Milan, and Manila. <laughs> I don't think they would look go uh, or go well in this look. So, um, but I tried one of them. I tried uh, Manila, and the color is stunning. It's just that it's a bit streaky, but We'll go, we'll go back and I'll swatch this. I'll just open it up and swatch this all over our hands. So. Okay, so this is the completed uh, look right here. I decided that I go for the shade uh, Milan since it's a bit on the pinkier side. But here it is. This is Milan. This is Manila and this is Morocco. So these are uh, the colors that I uh, purchased and I went with uh, Milan. And I think it's it's a bit streaky this uh, soft cream lipsticks, uh, liquid lips, but I think they're much more comfortable than a really drying matte lipsticks. So I don't mind. Um, Putting another layer on it doesn't look that uh, drying, so yeah, I think we have a uh, finished phase already. What do you think? Okay, so our phase is done. I really um, hope you like this kind of video right here. We have done a full phase of using the product that has. I ordered online, so I think I'm not going to stop ordering now. Uh, but I have a shopping code for you to use so that you will have 100 pesos off on your first purchase and you'll see it right here on the screen. So log on uh, to Shopping Now, create an account and use that code for uh, shopping webbies. But that is it for me today. Some of the products I love, some are ish and some not uh, really, but I hope you really uh, like this video, share the love, uh, share the support, I'm rushing because there's a blinking red light and 
my camera is gonna die soon, but yeah. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Shaker Hand right there, and Maurice. I do these kinds of videos, and it's free to sub. You will not regret it. Let's be internet friends. And of course, if you want more of my videos, just ring the notification bell so you will be notified every time I have a new upload. And that is it for me. This night, I will go before my camera dies out, but this is the look. And what do you think of it? Request some videos uh, down below and have a great night. And I will see you on my next one. Bye, babies. <laughs>